is AI and this is AI Brow Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today is a good day. Today is a good day because I'm showing you all how to use this. This is a gua sha massager and it's amazing. It's small and petite, but it packs a lot of power and it could completely change your skincare routine. I'm gonna show you how, so let's get right to it. I'm looking a little oily today, so first I'm gonna start by just doing my regular skincare, just gonna clean my skin, follow up with a moisturizer, and I like to use my Gua Sha massager after I've put my oil on. So I'm gonna go ahead, do my skincare, and then I'll show you guys how to use the Gua Sha. Let me tie my hair up. Hey smileys, hey! I'll be using my manual facial brush today instead of my go-to skin vigorate facial brush. This one is a dual sided pore cleansing brush by Noomi. One side has super soft microfiber bristles and the other side is a silicone brush that is great for massaging oily t-zones and deep cleaning pores. It's easy to use, wet the brush with a bit of warm water and apply a small amount of cleanser. Then gently massage the skin in circular motions to remove dirt, oil, and makeup. I'm starting with my Mary Kay Naturally Cleanser. It's a cream cleanser that doesn't lather very much, but it does a great job of cleansing the skin without leaving it feeling tight and dry. Afterwards, I rinse with warm water and use a damp towel to remove excess water. Step number one is done. Just cleansed. Um, typically I would exfoliate. I'm not gonna exfoliate this time. You only really need to exfoliate twice, two to three times a week. So I'm not going to exfoliate today. I'm gonna go right in with my moisturizer. I wouldn't recommend exfoliating more than three times a week. And if you have sensitive skin, you may wanna scale that back to once a week with a gentle exfoliant. I followed my cleanser with the Mary Kay Naturally Moisturizing Stick. I'm really loving this line, especially in the summer months. It always leaves my skin feeling super soft and refreshed. And finally, I am going to apply my oil before I start with my Gua Sha. Just a few drops. There are many skincare serums or facial oils that work great with the Gua Sha tool. You want something that will help the tool glide over the skin and really work the product into your face without pulling or dragging. I'm using a few drops of my naturally nourishing oil. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Okay, let's do this. I like to start on the back of my neck. This is an area that can get really tense. I just glide it right up the back of my neck and it feels amazing. I repeat this motion about five times before moving on to the next area. Next, I like to give my shoulders a bit of attention as well. This is also an area that can get tight and tense at times. Same idea here, slowly and gently, glide the gua sha tool across the shoulder and up the neck and really relax into it. Take lots of deep breaths. Then I move on to the front of my neck using the long flat side of the tool. Sweep from the bottom up. Hold the tool at a 30 to 45 degree angle and very gently glide it across your skin. The key word here is gently. You don't need to apply much pressure to get results. It's easy to want to apply more pressure because it feels good, but avoid being too heavy handed. Most importantly, focus on areas that feel good for you. There isn't really a one size fits all method to how to use a gua sha tool. All sweeps should be upward and outward and should follow lymphatic flow. Repeat each sweep three to five times before moving on to the next area. For the jawline and chin, Glide the gua sha tool upwards from the center of the chin out to the earlobe. Hey, smileys. <laughs> what are you doing, Brandon? <laughs> I was going to use the restroom, but yeah, I forgot you were recording. <laughs> husbands. What you mean, husbands? For the cheekbones, start at the nose and glide the gua sha tool upwards and outward along the cheekbones, toward the ears. I like to stop and massage areas that I feel needed the most, near my temples, for example. 
Pressure in temples is common and often caused by stress or tension in the jaw, head, or neck. Use the flat side for the cheeks using the same motion. The gua sha tool I'm using is made with amethyst, my birthstone and favorite crystal. There are many shapes, sizes, and crystal varieties. For the brow area, glide upwards along the brow bone, going from the inside out. I also like to go over the bridge of my nose a few times. And for the forehead, start at the center of the forehead and glide the gua sha tool outwards. Think of the forehead as three sections. Gua sha is an ancient Chinese practice that's meant to improve circulation, relax your muscles, and improve blood flow. That's it. I've seen best results using my gua sha tool two to three times a week for about five minutes each, and I always store it in the fridge. The cold temperature helps with depuffing and skin tightening. And make sure to clean your tool before and after each use. Rubbing alcohol will do the trick or a drop of cleanser and warm water will work too. Thanks for watching Smiley's. Hope this video was helpful. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like good vibes. See you in the next one. Mwah.